Hello Mallards, it is October. Uh, I am at Montverde currently because I am about to see a middle school production of a show called The Lucky Stiff. And I don't know anything about The Lucky Stiff except the title. Um, I believe it is gambling related in some way, but I'm excited to experience it. I'm looking forward to this show and having a good time this evening. I will check in with you at intermission if there's an intermission or at the end of the show, if I hit the end of the show. I love live theater. <laughs> like I love live theater so much. And this show really exemplifies all of the reasons why. There is always room for the unexpected. And I am having such a genuinely enjoyable time here at Lucky Stiff, partially because of all the little bits and bobs that go wrong. Uh, there's a reason that there's an entire set of plays based on the idea of a show going wrong and people eat that up. And that's because those moments are actually very enjoyable, which is not to say that these students aren't working incredibly hard and putting on an awesome performance, but in live theater things just go wrong and I love watching people roll with it. And that is a talent in and of itself. Now I know a little bit more about the show. Uh, Lucky Stiff is a classic like Weekend at Bernie's kind of idea. It is about a young man whose uncle dies and leaves him a lot of money, but in order to get that money, he needs to take his uncle's embalmed body to Monte Carlo and take it around and do all different sorts of things. And so it's absolutely a madcap comedy adventure and it is full of characters. They did a scene that was a train and watching them all just bring their chairs in and set up for the train, absolutely incredible. There are also some fantastic performers in this, but we absolutely have to call out Evan, who is playing the uncle, because he's dead, except for in the very beginning song where he gets shot. So he is sitting in a wheelchair, eyes closed, flopping around, and he's so impressive so impressive. His body goes back and forth. He's really good at being rubbery and sitting there through absolutely everything and he gets tossed about by all of his co-stars. There's a lot happening and he handles it all so well. I, I'm just really impressed. That also shows a level of care in the direction because there is an extreme level of trust to a lot of the choreography, the movements, and the interactions that especially Trey, who plays Harry, has with Anthony. Like, the two of them probably did a lot of work on that because there is a lot going on there. Trey also is an incredible dancer. Uh, his dance numbers have been amazing. He has done these leaps and jumps and kicks that were just so impressive. And I've enjoyed watching all of the ensemble players too. They have a lot of delightful energy. Uh, the girl who is the love interest, who is Annabelle Glick, Megan, uh, is really, really fun to watch. I love her energy, especially when she was like being an investigative reporter and just crawling all around on the stage. The staging for this and the blocking is so dynamic and so fun. There is just nothing but energy on that stage 98% of the time. And somehow the dead body has most of the energy, which is very, very impressive. Oh, actually, I take that back. The most energy in this show absolutely belongs to Beckett Lee, who is a firecracker of a performer. Like the kind of performer that I want to write shows for. Like, I just, I want Beckett to be in stuff. Incredible, so dynamic, so absolutely willing to lean into the ridiculous as far as you need to lean in it and just run away with everything. Uh, the girls sitting behind me were howling with laughter during Beckett's entire song. And I was just impressed the whole time. Also, I really like the soundtrack. I didn't know it before, but I'm going to be singing these songs on the way home for sure. I'm really into the show, and I'm going to be just as into the second act, so I'm going to go back inside for that.
I'm gonna maintain what I said during the act break. I love live theater. Uh, every moment of this show was delightful. Uh, I want to give a special shout out this time around to Evan, who played Luigi, who uh, was part of a uh, final act reveal that was really fun, but his attitude on stage was fun the whole time, but especially the absolute ridiculousness that led to the final reveal was so enjoyable. Uh, and also, Reese who played several parts throughout the show, uh, had really, really fun facial expressions. Uh, it was fun to watch him perform, but he also saved the show when the only thing everybody needed was drinks in the hotel room. Uh, and he came in clutch with that, and we appreciate that too. This show is very, very funny on its own. This performance in particular could not be beat. I was giggling from start to finish, and I had such an enjoyable time. I'm so glad that I came. It's so fun to see the middle schoolers perform, especially, because uh, it's different than watching high schoolers perform. It's different than watching professionals perform. There is a level of enjoyment and carefree nature that they've got that I really appreciate. Uh, rolling with the moments that weren't going the way you necessarily expected them to was done so well. <sighs> and I just had a lot of fun. And now I'm gonna go home and I'll see you tomorrow.